Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. Guys, let's get into this. Let's see what your person's unspoken thoughts and feelings are, but we're doing it from their triggered fears and insecurities. Yes, we are diving into the dark shadows of your person. Just know guys, <laughs> the cookies on the dark side, don't eat them. Some of them are laced with bitterness. Just say no, don't eat it. Let's jump in, guys. Let's see whose energy is going to come in the strongest for my Taurus this week. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know and sense about the person and your connection. If it doesn't happen with this reading, check out your other sign positions. I also did the extra wild card reading. Check that one, see if I picked up energy there. See the strongest energy coming forward for my Taurus. It's for my Taurus. Guys, I'm going to pull their energy. Then I'm going to see your energy from their perspective. Everything is from the way they see things. It's their shadow triggers, not yours. Okay? <laughs> Let's jump in. Oh, we got two cards that flew out. Mm -hmm. Three cards that flew out. Are we taking them? Yes, of course we are. Mm -hmm. Oh, we've got somebody that's a little bit off of balance. We've got a Libra energy. But it's a shadow. It's off balance, focusing in too much on um, certain details of things, throwing herself off balance. You could say, like, OCD, <laughs> obsessive compulsive, can't get it, can't, it can't handle. The little minute something of something. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the card of healing. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh. And we got the lady in red. The person in red. So, guys, just just with this, this person is triggered. Triggered, triggered. Big time. The lady in red, um is normally it's not where your person doesn't trust you they don't trust a person around you showering you with attention they don't like that person <laughs> that person is making herself a little too obvious about their desires towards you yes uh-huh and evidently this person just wants to be very very helpful always a helping hand and your person is thrown off balance and watching everything they do like uh-huh 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 can you not, mm -hmm. can you not see why they're doing that? Mm -hmm. Ow, okay. Let's see your energy from your person's perspective. Perspective. We got it. That stood up quick. Oh my goodness, you're trying to get away from drama and stress, and you, they may actually be worried you're walking away. You're walking away. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. That card is about getting away from um, drama and stress. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see some of the triggers of where everything is going. And like I said, guys, either these cards are going to show us when they get triggered out of fear and insecurity. It's going to show us how they judge their self. Are they very critical of their self? But it can, the, the bitterness can come out when they turn some of those opinions, <laughs> feelings and thoughts on you and have you standing in a negative light. Uh -huh. Let's find out. Let's see what's going on with them. Of course, we got our first one out. Stone cold, emotionless, cruel and heartless. Ow, cruel and heartless. Hang on. Insincere, impure, hollow, and hypocritical. Let's see what else is going to pop. Nosy, snooping, curiosity, learning. Oh, curiosity is caught the cat. Oh, it's coming under stone cold or stone heart, stone cold. <laughs> yes, we're doing wrestling here. Self-loathing, criticism of self, low self-esteem, and undeserving. Okay. 
Y'all hold on. Let me slow down a minute. Let's come in under the in, in sincere, impure, hallowed, hypocritical, sarcasm, mockery, irony, ridicule. Mm -hmm. Let's come in under nosy, snoopy, curious. Oh, it's on the bottom. Oh, we're going to get two on that. Oh, absence, not having need, lack mentality, obsessing. There's our Libra energy off balance. Mm -hmm. Consuming, tormented, loss of control, obsessing, obsessing. Oh, okay. So, just with that one, guys, uh, this person does get triggered over here on this column. They they do recognize and they don't like this part of their self that uh, they start obsessing over things. Always feeling like, every, you know, grass is greener. Everyone else is better than me. Somebody better is going to come along and pull you away. And they are constantly worried about a person in red uh, getting your attention and pulling you away from them. They don't like that part of their self, but it seems to be uncontrollable because they would be very suspicious of things. Uh, and that comes from a sense of, of being abandoned, but also, you know, just the, the, the lack mentality of, I don't measure up, I'm not good enough that kind of thing and you use your intuition because it could be I um, don't look good enough I don't have enough I'm not smart enough there's always a lack mentality there mm -hmm. over here on the stone heart uh, the one thing I picked up was the mockery uh, over here on the sarcasm uh, this this person we we may you know be a little sarcastic to them uh, when they you know if they question motives of a lady in red why are they being so nice why are they always a helping hand blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> yeah uh if if we were to be like you're being ridiculous that kind of thing sarc a little bit sarcastic um that's when they, it would immediately hit on that you're heartless because they're they're being sincere with their fear but you 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 would be coming across as heartless, disconnected from them. Mm -hmm. A little bit cruel, inconsiderate of their feelings. The insincere, it would also be projecting onto you. Mm -hmm. That you really not, you really don't, the storyline that would go through their head is you really don't care about how they feel. Uh, that kind of thing. But when they have these deeper emotions and especially when they project onto you of you're being heartless cruel you really don't care they'll immediately snap back into the self-loathing mm -hmm. low self-esteem undeserving i don't blame you as soon as they have that thought of you really don't care about my feelings i don't blame you because i'm so blah 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 hopefully you get my understanding here so yeah Ooh, they definitely got some triggers going on. Very suspicious of others that are reaching out and other people's intentions towards you. Because they, you know, they do feel like something better is going to come along. You can always do better than me. Let's keep going here. Let's come in on the uh, stone part. Emotionless, cruel. Mm. Past, present, future. That's the wheel, guys. Karma. But it's also representing patterns, and it's, it's telling me this person is carrying um, this trigger with them when they project out on somebody who's being really cold-hearted, doesn't really care too much about their feelings. Uh, they've carried that from childhood. It's like, you know, parents blowing a, a child off when the child's trying to explain an emotion of feeling something. And the parent's like, I ain't got time, you know, you're being silly. Go play. <laughs> That kind of thing. So, a little, you know, neglected on that part. Four of Swords energy. Taking care of yourself. Mm. Four of Swords is private mode, guys. It's getting clarity. It's a rest in the battle. But think of the key words would be uh, private. Always holding your uh, feelings and your opinions, your thoughts. 
<clears throat> to yourself instead of voicing it too much because like I said this person's carrying something from childhood where they were just you know pushed aside like yeah yeah nothing they ever said was really important let's come in on insincere six of wands putting on a show uh normally six of wands is a card of accomplishment teamwork being grateful for everyone that's helped you out but uh in the shadow side it has you in the center stage spotlight like a leo energy where you feel like you have to live up to demands and expectations whether it's the ones you put on yourself or the ones you think others are placing on you it makes you uncomfortable so yeah uh putting on a show with the um insincere if if we try to convince them that, that this first trigger I do care about your feelings, your thoughts, that kind of thing. Uh, to them, that we would just be putting on the show. Mm -hmm. Page of Wands, good news is coming. Page of Wands goes very much with the cat over here, curiosity. But the Page of Wands also has a hard time some... Um, because it's a very young, immature kind of energy. has a hard time looking someone in the face. Uh, when when they're trying to express something Because there's always uncertainty about What would happen if I express it? Yeah, mm. let's come in on that nosy Devil card self-imposed bondage mm -hmm. Fighting the inner demons star card peaceful phase and this person does like to keep the peace or tries to they don't they, they don't want to cause drama and stuff but and they feel like a lot of times they feel like if they did share their insecurities and stuff you know it would just start drama but they don't look to the future with hope and optimism uh -uh. not at all let's come on to self-loathing down here we've got tower allow the dust to settle Ooh, yeah, anytime that they, they speak out suddenly or it, their trigger goes suddenly into projecting onto you, well, you're just a horrible person, you're being mean to me, you're cruel, you don't care about my feelings and stuff, that's sudden for them, <clears throat> and they'll catch their self and immediately snap back into what? Self-loathing, put it back onto their self of, you know, I don't blame you, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, cray-cray here. What else? Ten of Wands. Time to lighten the burden. Yeah, with this one, they struggle a lot mm -hmm, with that one because it's, it's a, it, it, you know, it's heavy burden. But it also it helps them to override and not get stuck in projecting out bad, bad feelings and thoughts towards you. Uh, where they would get stuck in that and not be willing to go the distance because Ten of Wands is about, uh, you know, keep going, persevere, push through. Taurus, guys, there might be a little bit of a glitch in the, your reading in the video. My camera shut off. Let's keep going, guys. We're going to come in on sarcasm, the sarcasm, the mockery. We've got Knight of Cups, mm, Pisces Energy, Romantic Dreaming. And Queen of Pentacles, prosperous and loving. Wow. Ooh, guys, that's ooh. There's something else. Hold on. Bring it out for me. Where's that? Bring it out. Mm. I'll get two more on it. Moon card, fears, phases, patterns, and the Emperor. Wow, Emperor. Okay, just just with this, it's it's popping me back to the early life um and how the uh adult figures brushed them off uh sort of didn't listen to them uh they were begging for love <laughs> and attention <clears throat> from the mother capricorn energy but in her shadow side guys she's normally a, a really good nurturer um takes care of things on physical takes care of business so to say but in her shadow side she can forget about the emotional side of others and nurturing that patterns and fear uncertainty and they did have father father issues 
Mm -hmm. Ooh, so yeah, and like I said, it's coming in on sarcasm, mockery, ridicule. Mm -hmm. So you know, you know what kind of energy <clears throat> they got when they tried to express things, their thoughts, their feelings, that kind of things. Uh, when they were younger, they got brushed aside and maybe even made fun of a little bit, or felt like they were being made fun of. Let's come in on the lack and obsession obsessing consuming torment loss of control strength card guys ow so y'all know for me the strength card is leo energy is taming the inner demons but it's also taming and training uh, other people while you're taming your inner inner demons it's getting to know each other on an energetic level mm -hmm. and sometimes when we fall off into the shadow we can be trying to uh Tame the beast to keep it from eating us instead of training it into the boundaries of what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. What we like and what we don't like. So this person spent a lot of times trying a lot of time trying to keep the beast from eating them. Uh -huh. Instead of how to work work with uh, someone on an energetic level. Nine of swords, intrusive thoughts, yeah, a lot of anxiety, worry on that one obsessive thinking another on uh, the off balance libra energy six of cups card of nostalgia wow Ooh, teddy bear seen the teddy bear guys so like i said your person's carrying a lot of triggers uh that's playing out for them from childhood from childhood and we got getting a glimpse of what their environment was like are not so much environment just just the parental figures and how they were brushed aside and maybe even felt like um they were being made fun of mm -hmm. okay let's get on talking i'm gonna leave out the original trigger cards so they can talk on these guys this is for my taurus this person I'm going to get the whole deck up here. There we go. Let's come in on the uh, emotionless cruel. Be cruel to me. Ooh. Getting two here. I can get them up. Guys, my fingers won't work. I don't know what to do. Inescapable patterns of destruction. Selfish and cold. Ooh, they come at me in a passive way. So it might be question mark, a question to it, question on it. I didn't realize how intimately you knew and understood me. You see every part of me that I try to keep hidden. Ooh. I'm learning that karma has everyone's address. Oh, getting two. I feel like I have nothing to contribute to this relationship. I feel like a failure. Let's come in on the insincere, impure, hollow, and hypocritical. This kind of connection doesn't happen every day. No way, shape, or form could I ever measure up. I thought it was too good to be true. All that's left is me and my bruised ego. F me. Ooh, let's come in on nosy and curiosity. The kitty cat over there. <clears throat> nosy, curious. Got to know. The silence is maddening, but I can see myself more clearly now. Doesn't help knowing that my replacement is at your fingertips. Ow. I feel like I don't know you anymore. 
What if you finally see I'm not good enough for you? My replacement is at your fingertip when that happens. Anything mm. else on that one? Looking back, our relationship was the soul school connection that I really needed. Let's come in on the self-loathing. Criticism of self and low self-esteem. Esteem, undeserving. I feel your absence. It's hard for me to have faith that we are each other's forever person. Hidden helpers, hidden helpers. Guys, helper with all the hands. Mm-hmm. Ooh, suspicious others are going to draw you away from them. What else, what else, what else? Trying to cope. I never, I never meant to make you feel third wheel. Energy might be flipped on that one. They may feel like they're the third wheel. Let's go ahead and come in on the mockery, the sarcasm, ridicule. Pop. Ride or die. Just have to put up with it. Your pain matched my pain. I don't want to be broken anymore. I always knew the truth. I want your openness. Anything else? Numbing out. I can feel myself being pulled to you. Let's come in on the lack and the obsessing. Consuming, tormented. What do you want to say on the lack and the obsessing? I still love you. I'm feeling the bottom one if I can get my fingers to pull it. I miss your touch. Anything else? I'm so conflicted and exhausted. I feel you missing me. Last shuffle. Oh, hold on, guys. That one's trying, these are trying to fly off. Hold the energy. What did we get? It felt like I was under some kind of spell. In pursuit of the party lifestyle. Felt like I was under a spell. There are things I'm ready to tell you. Ready to tell you some things now. Ooh. Let's get you a lover's oracle, Taurus. Before we close off the reading. Ooh. Y'all getting two. Y'all see them? Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go. All will work out. Only time will tell. Ooh. Taurus, I'm sending you love and light. Bless be.